Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is me. They call me Heat. Before we get started on this video, guys, please make sure you follow me on Instagram. That is where I post a lot of my content, a lot of my personal content. Um, if I'm promoting anything, if you guys just want to see my day-to-day -day life, that's where I post a lot of that at. But just follow me on Instagram, please, guys. And yeah, let's get started. I wanted to make this video today because a lot of people have been asking me to make the video on how to use the effects from the 404 in conjunction with, you know, machine, um, in conjunction with, you know, pretty much any doll that you have. I want to get right, right into it. I did have to rearrange my hookup a little bit in order to run the effects from here into the, into the system. So basically all I did was I ran the output of the machine to the input of my interface that's pretty much how you should have it set up. So a RCA out to quarter inch ends of the interface. Um, and then I have the, the headphone out, just a regular like an aux cord, um, quarter inch going from the headphone out. Or you can do a quarter inch out from like your monitor or you know if you have extra outputs from your interface, from the interface going into RCA inputs of the actual SP404. So you will need those type of cables. You'll need two a quarter inch to RCA um, left and right. With that though, and the way that that's set up is that, you know, when you do do that, you're gonna get feedback because basically you're looping your signal from your interface into another processor back into the system. So you're basically looping your signal. So it's kind of like a circle. And like I said, you're gonna, you're gonna get a lot of feedback. So it's kind of hard to, you know, run the effects from the 404 at the same time with your computer or whatever. So there's a little, you know, things that you have to do in order to make this work. Now, the one thing that you do have to do is you're going to have to sample inside of the SP404. So that's one of the things that's going to be a little tedious, but it works. It's, it's going to work for you because you don't really have to do a lot of work at all. Um, now, I do have a sample here, um, which is just a road sample. I'm just gonna find just a simple loop, just a section there, and I'm gonna put it into the SP404 and go from there. So what we do is we find our loop. And the loop is not perfect just for the purposes of this video. You can either loop, find a loop and record it in, or you can Take your sample, chop it up, do everything that you want to do with the sample, and then take your loop that you made and sample it into the 404. So now I'm going to show you how to get it into the 404. With the 404, of course, we have our output of our interface, interface going into the SP404. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on external source, which basically is picking up the source from the interface and it's going into the SP right here. And in order for you to know if your SP is picking up the signal, as you all know, the blue light on your thing here will show um, that it's picking it up. So I just hit external source on the 404 and then the blue light will show up once I'm getting signal from here. Now, what you will want to do is have your 404 down, the volume turned all the way down because you don't want it to loop back into the system. So I'm gonna take this, record this loop by just hitting record and then pick a pad. There is a way to have the 404 basically start when you, the audio is picked up that way you don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to, boom, got my pad when I'm ready to record. Stop recording. Now I can turn my input on, on a channel here, which is going to be my one and two. And now I have the signal running into my interface into an input in FL Studio. And now what I can do is I can use the effects here. Pretty simple, right? Thank you. 
So now that we have the SP or the sample into the SP, I can add those effects and I can say, okay, I like that effect that I just put on there. Now I want to add another effect. So what we do is we, we take that sample and we resample it to the next pad. So you just hit resample and then you can pick basically another um, pad or whatever. So we're gonna resample it to another pad when we're ready. While we're resampling, we're gonna say, Now it's on the other pad with the It's on the other pad with the same effect. Now I can add it I can add another effect if I want to add another effect. So let's say I like the vinyl sim effect. And I want to do the vinyl sim. Now I have two effects on, you know, one pad pretty much. Now let's say, okay, I like that. I really like that. Now I want to commit and put that into my DAW. So now in my DAW, what I have to do is I have to actually um, record now. So I go into the DAW, of course in FL Studio, that's what I'm running. I put it in song mode, hit record. Pretty much what it'll do is it'll give me a count and then I can hit the pad. So let's go. Now it's in there. Of course, we're going to have to edit to get it on point, which isn't that, that you know, much of a hassle. So let's go edit it and get it on point so that we can drop it into the playlist or the step sequence or whatever. So now we pretty much have a perfect loop and all we got to do is drag it on time, set it to auto so that it's on time and now it's set to whatever tempo that we want to use it at. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty, really simple. Um, of course, it's a, a tedious process, but you'll get used to it after a while trying to do it that way. But that's how you use the SP404 for just the effects that's in the system. I hope this helps. Again, you know, it's a tedious process because you have to go back and forth between the computer and whatnot. That's how I'm able to implement this. And this goes for any DAW. Like, you can use the machine DAW and then run the output from the interface to the SP, sample it, sample it back in, and then record it just into the machine. Same exact thing. It'll, it'll apply for any DAW that you use because all you're doing is taking your signal from your, your interface or your computer and running it back into the computer after you've sampled it and added effects through the SP404. So again, I hope this helps you guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment below your thoughts on the video. If you have any other questions, I will be glad to answer those questions for you guys. Thank you for watching, and until next time, peace. Love y'all.